Well, police, Nicole, have executed a search warrant at the house of Godwin Gretsch. They will be searching his computer system and they will be interviewing him. Now, for those that don't know, Godwin Gretsch is the Treasury official who is at the centre of this controversy. His evidence, explosive evidence on Friday, implicated the Prime Minister and the Treasurer in perhaps having misled Parliament over whether or not they did any special deals for a used car dealer from Queensland, John Grant. So that was Friday, and the Prime Minister over the course of the weekend said that there would be an investigation. Now, what it all pivots on is an email that's missing, that the Prime Minister says is a fraud and doesn't exist, that implicates the Prime Minister's office in telling Mr Gretsch to go off and do, a set, to do some work on behalf of, uh, of him for uh, John Grant. Now, it appears that that email has been found in Treasury's system by the police. It was deleted, and it is that that they're now interviewing Mr Gretsch about. What they're saying about that is that, uh, what I'm being told about that, is that the email is fraudulent. So it was concocted inside Treasury and that they are now interviewing Mr Gretsch in relation to that. Chris Yulman, this is a significant development. How is it going to change the direction of this political crisis? Well, of course, now a lot of the focus will come back onto that particular email, which is precisely what the government wants to happen. Uh, we do know that there are other elements to this that do need answering by government, particularly the Treasurer Wayne Swan, it would appear, has more to answer on this because John Grant was the only one who was mentioned in discussions with Ford Credit, and Ford Credit was seeking $550 million from government at a meeting that Mr Gretsch had with Ford Credit. It appears that the only person whose name was mentioned at that meeting was John Grant. So there was a lot of heat on the Treasurer, but of course, if things now begin to focus differently, and on partic in particular on this email, which is where the government would like to focus, it takes a fair bit of heat off the Treasurer. But of course, there are a lot of reputations on the line. Just how serious is this situation? It's very serious. The Prime Minister and the Treasurer have been accused of misleading Parliament. The Prime Minister, it appears uh, at this stage, unless there is a, a real email found, doesn't necessarily have a case to answer. The Treasurer, I think, has a lot more questions to answer. And, of course, the opposition leader, Malcolm Turnbull, has some questions to answer about his knowledge of this email and how it was distributed around uh, the opposition and how it was that it came into the hands of a News Limited journalist. So there's plenty of questions to go around. Chris Yulman, thank you. Thanks, Nicole.